Yeah, even saying that makes me kind of cringe. I don't know why I laughed at that. I can already relate. An electric guitar riff makes me happy. I can already feel so much emotion. It was interesting production wise. It didn't feel right for me. I feel like I'm gonna get hate for saying that. Hi everyone, so welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Chloe and I am a writer and musician here on YouTube. I'm 20 years old and yes, today as you can tell from the title i am going to be doing yet another album reaction i'm aware i not long did one but bad flower released their new album this is how the world ends i just knew i had to listen to it and it's giving me all the nostalgic feelings because i remember when i reacted to their first album okay i'm sick which i will actually leave linked down below because i actually did that over on my music channel which i no longer use so that will be linked if you'd like to check that out uh, so i thought it was only right that i listen to this is how the world ends obviously i've been listening to bad flower for a really long time wow i think i discovered them back in 2019 i think it was i'm excited for this because i only have nine songs to listen to even though they were like there are 13 songs on the album but i've already listened to four so i've already listened to fuckboy family johnny wants to fight and don't hate me my absolute favorite has been don't hate me for a long time and i love that track but i do need to listen to the rest of the album so obviously the ones i've already listened to i won't be listening to in this video i reckon we should just get straight into it because these videos i love them but they're a pain in the ass when it comes to filming and editing but i will make sure to link a bad flower down in the description along with the lyrics the track list over on genius because that is what i use for my videos because i like to read along the lyrics as they're being sung we are going to start with song number one adolescent love starting out with a guitar i really like how uh, his name's josh isn't it josh the lead singer i like how he is not giving it a lot of power yet and he it's just him like quite light and airy on the vocals and guitar picking in the background that is just so underrated i feel like you know just picking off a guitar an acoustic guitar and vocals it's so nice i feel like we've got another instrument coming in in the refrain i'm just not sure what oh and yes by the way i am focusing more on production side of things in these album reactions because that is what i feel like i'm most qualified for yeah even saying that makes me kind of cringe i also feel like that guitar is quite muted as well i, I quite like that and that is something i will say a lot in this video and i'm sorry sorry in advance oh and now we've got an electric guitar coming in and i think i just heard a slide oh i now feel like this is only like the second verse because it's a different structure to usual um with like it goes verse one refrain verse two and then the chorus and i'm not entirely sure about the rest of the song or if it's just a really short song i can definitely hear like some harmonies coming in now i just want to listen to that yeah there's definitely a couple layers there of the vocals there's more than just that one layer than there is at the beginning and i quite like that you know there's now more like layers of vocals coming in you know with the harmonies it's almost like you've got the main the main vocal and then you've just got like a backing harmony part layer to it to just kind of thicken out those vocals a bit more also i don't know what it is but there's something about this chord progression that i really like it's kind of like especially that last chord i think i think it might be like an f sharp but it could honestly be any sort of sharp or flat note i just don't think it's like a normal chord if you know what i mean it does sound like a sharp sort of note 
Oh, there's definitely more like layers there, more harmonies there. Um, in the chorus, I do quite like that. I think there's also like a string instrument in there as well. You know, also, I'm sorry, I will fiddle with my hair and necklace a lot. That just, I think that ends on an electric top. I liked how like simple that first song was. I quite liked it. And I liked how simple the structure to it was as well. You know, with um, the verses and the chorus. Really simple, nice and easy to follow. But the next three songs, I've actually already listened to. But that, I like Adolescent Love. I just think, you know, it's going to take a bit of warming up to get used to it. But obviously, you know, I've already listened to the next three songs, Fuck Boy, Family and Johnny Wants to Fight. So we are now going to move on to song number five, which is called Stalker. Oh, OK, so I'm already liking the beat to this song. Also, the vocals aren't as forward as usual. Like, I think it's like dynamics or something, but it sounds like they're kind of quite back and not like, do you not even really know what I mean? But like in production or actually I think this it's more maybe it's more like just in Da Vinci Resolve but it does sound like quite far backwards within the space does that make any sense probably not but I, I do like that beat and there's a what instruments in there okay so there's an electric guitar and the drums are coming in as well I also quite like that these vocals aren't like actual singing vocals but it's like a mixture of singing and speaking i probably shouldn't be laughing at this song but it's just like it's so forward so blunt with the lyrics am i supposed to be chill when chad rails you his big cock his big hands his jawbone his trust fund his small brains and his intellect i don't know why i laughed at that <laughs> oh okay nice and now we're kind of moving away from the the speaking vocals and into the more singing vocals hang on Hang on, I think I remember what incel means, but I need to look this up. Yeah, an incel is a member of an online subculture of people who define themselves as unable to get a romantic or sexual partner despite desiring one. That electric guitar in the background though is so good. I don't know what this is by the way. Ooh, and now like, I don't know what it is, but I feel like Bad Flower are kind of changing their sound with like the speaking lyrics, the, the singing in their songs. Okay, so I think this is basically just about, it's kind of in the album title, this is how the world ends. It's all about all of the different problems in this world right now. You know, feminism and all that, all that shit. What's the word? Misogyny? And everything like that and how the world is literally just made for men man-made also those drums in the background are kind of intense i'm not complaining Ooh, that electric guitar strumming yeah i don't exactly know what to think of that it's gonna take me a while to kind of warm up to like the style of their songs now because they kind of have changed from their album okay i'm sick because yeah, if you were to listen to them back to back, you would notice the style difference. But, like, it's not a bad thing. I just find it so hard to get used to change. So it's different, and I'm not entirely sure what to think of it just yet. That was Stalker. <laughs> the next song I'm really excited to listen to because it's number six, Everyone's an Asshole. I can already relate. <clears throat> Okay, I'm sorry, I'm not a people person, but I just, I, I think it's a funny title. Starting out with a nice guitar picking pattern. Oh, that is funny. Everyone's an expert in some field they've never studied fully. Sounds like my brother. He thinks he knows everything, he doesn't know everything. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying. And even though this is kind of like in i want to say it's kind of like a radio sort of thing with the vocal production because it's it almost sounds like in production they've cut out the lower frequencies which makes it sound like that but even though you've got that radio sort of effect on the vocals josh is singing like and not just speaking in this 
already oh and now it's coming in and it's just like a very smooth sliding transition into this next verse and we're into that speaking part of the song that josh likes to do apparently oh 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 i like that kind of like choir of r's in the background of the pre-chorus there but i like that i like those like wire r's in the background and there's like either clapping or snapping in there i think it's probably a mixture actually oh i like those layers of the vocals in the chorus there oh and i like all of that power that josh is giving in that chorus love that an electric guitar riff makes me happy i don't know why i just love that power that josh is giving the chorus so much i just think it is kind of different from like the beginning of the song it's just a nice contrast i like that guitar plucking plucking picking i don't yeah picking it's picking yeah that's guitar picking i do like that one pretty much my life out anthem life anthem yeah i did like that and now we are going to move on to song number seven called she knows oh i like that guitar strumming in the background to begin with and it, it's ringing out so it's not like being muted or anything and again i like that in this he's he's not putting too much power into the beginning of the song and I, I like the simplicity of just the vocals and the guitar oh also i think there's an electric guitar in there oh and now he's putting a bit more power into his into his voice i don't think i've ever heard josh hit that high note and now we've got the drum coming in i like that electric guitar like picking in the background something so simple that i feel like not a lot of people would actually pick up on i actually also like how breathy josh's vocals are as well in this song sorry was that like a, a saxophone or a, i think that was a saxophone it's some sort of uh, woodwind oh we had a nice breakdown and now we're going back into the drums and guitar and whatnot and yes i'm gonna comment about that electric guitar riff because i like that i like it why wouldn't i like it you know that's so weird the end of she knows sounds like it's accidentally been cut off that's so weird it just doesn't really feel like it has an outro like it's been accidentally cut off but i did like that one i really liked the message of that song and it just from my like interpretation it's about you know having secrets about mental health like with uh with a partner you know in a relationship you know having that secret about mental health I don't really know what I'm trying to say. I'm lagging here. I'm lagging. I do think it is my favourite one so far. And I actually really need to eat because I'm hungry. So I am going to do a second part to this video. I will be back to react to the rest of the album. I am now back i have taken time to recharge it's actually a, I think a few hours later since i last filmed i've had lunch and i've been and done some shopping and i could just not be bothered to reapply my lipstick and yes my makeup might look a little bit like patchy now because i've been out i've been wearing a mask even though i was really anxious on that shopping trip maybe it's just I'm not entirely sure what it is. Like, I like shopping, don't get me wrong. And I love the feeling of retail therapy. There's just something about being in an actual shop surrounded by a bunch of idiots that makes me anxious. And I just feel like so... I just felt a bit like a tin of sardines <laughs> because it was busy and I was just anxious because people were way too close to me. And I have issues with personal space anyway but yes i'm back i've got a can of rubicon that i'm gonna drink while i do this reaction along with some water but i'm literally only just finishing this 
because I have five songs left one two three four five yeah i've got five songs left to react to let me just open this a minute and we are now going to listen to song number eight only love i think we're starting with some string instruments here nice i like those airy parts of josh's vocals in the lyrics i don't know what it is it kind of just adds more of a feeling to it you know, more emotion. Also, it wouldn't be an album reaction if I didn't comment on that muted guitar strumming in the background, that acoustic guitar. Right, okay, so there's a little part here, like about this song that Josh actually said. So he said this about Only Love. There's a song called Only Love that I wasn't finished writing all the lyrics for and I was recording it in pieces. I was writing a bit then singing it and mostly leaving the first takes because I was so in the moment and emotional. There was a moment toward the end where I didn't have the lyrics finished, I just had the start of them and I thought to myself, I'm just going to put down this beginning so I can hear the, so I can hear that and maybe I'll be able to write the rest. I ended up pretty much finishing the song on the fly. You can hear me specifically stumbling over certain words because I was just finding the words in the moment. When I hear it back it makes me chuckle because I wrote it right then and there and I left it and I never touched it. That was a moment that I'll never forget. That's a moment you that you couldn't plan and I don't know if it'll ever happen again but it's very cool. Hang on, hang on, let's just stop it there a moment. This chorus this song i can already feel so much emotion because of what he said you know he did it pretty much in one take yeah he recorded it in pieces and probably out of order but it, it tells a story already you know it's it's only love you know this isn't supposed to cause you know heartbreak literally the first verse says calm down i'm okay it's only heartbreak you're down it's downplaying what love is i hope that makes sense i really hope but oh yeah I, I was gonna say about the chorus wasn't i okay so that line of the chorus is heartbreak and i'm in recovery like he starts out the song pretty you know airy doesn't have a lot of power in his vocals and you know that line it's heartbreaking, I'm in recovery. He's really going in with that. I like that that line suddenly becomes more powerful in the chorus. I can hear the harmonies. I need to stop singing stuff like that because that, that will hurt my throat. I feel this. I quite like this song. I kind of feel like I can relate to that feeling. Sorry, that hi-hat. Is that a hi-hat? I think it is. It's got to be a hi-hat. I mean, I know the different parts of the drum, I'm just not an expert. Ooh, I, there's still, that guitar is still in there. And that, like, muted guitar strumming, that is still in there. However, it is just a bit more powerful now, I think. I can't tell. There's another instrument in there that I can't quite pick out. There's, like, a maraca in there. Is it a maraca? That bridge, though. I feel like I can somewhat resonate with a lot of of their songs and i think it is because you know i've been through a lot of mental health stuff i feel like i'm having one of those days today where i just want to cry about everything by the way as you're watching this on saturday the 2nd of october i filmed this a week before this actually goes up i don't think i'm in a good place but i do want to carry on don't know why I'm so emotional. Okay, I know why I'm so emotional. I got four hours of sleep last night. Four, four and a half hours of sleep because I slept for 12 hours the night before. My sleep is fucked. I'm listening to Bad Flower for fuck's sake. But yeah, I was just gonna say, I like this bridge. Um, a life, no. The second part of the bridge slash the middle A, because sometimes I do call it the middle A, most of the time I do anyway. I really like the, lo the, the second part to it the best i had the worst mistake i'm all fucked up and i'm not okay oh that sounds like me right now that 
that line, I'm all fucked up and I'm not okay. That's how I feel right now. Even my therapist said to hell with this, I'm not healing. I do like that guitar in the background though. How many times am I gonna say that? I don't know. Oh, I, I quite liked that. I think it's just, it's such a raw song and it's, you know, it's full of emotion. All of that emotion is packed in there. And I think it just kind of hit me a bit with all the emotions, all the emotions. I feel like just really hit me with that. And I, I feel like I have been in a relate, you know, well, listening to the song and reading through the lyrics, I can like definitely relate on a relationship level because you know as i was reading and listening the lyrics to the lyrics it just reminded me of a relationship that i was in but like it wasn't love i quite liked how that ended though just on love i enjoyed that i think so far my favourites have definitely been the last two i've listened to so so the last two songs i listened to she knows and only love I'm liking them. They're more of the vibe that I like from Bad Flower. But we are now going to move on to song number nine called Sasshole. Okay, I already like this because that's a guitar. But that, is it? Yeah. I like that guitar riff. I already like the song. I already know I'm gonna like the song. But thinking about it though, that guitar it sounds kind of thick like the the sound of the guitar is thick but i i can't i don't understand why they probably used a pedal or something like that i just i can't quite pick out what they've done with that guitar okay using the c word hold up there's a second guitar in there panning that's panning. It's definitely, definitely in the left. My ears are too good for this. <laughs> Am I on a high? I'm not sure. I think I might be. A natural high, by the way. Like, as in, I'm kind of delirious? Yeah, I'm in a state of delirium. There is a lot going on this song, which is why I think I'm finding it hard to like really delve in to some of the instruments and the production because there's just you've got the main bloody guitar riff that I love, by the way, in the right speaker, and then you've got everything else going on in the left. It's just a bit much, just a bit. Maybe all of that extra stuff is isn't actually in the left speaker you would need headphones to be able to tell that kind of thing it almost sounds like oh what's it called alien it just sounds like a, an alien invasion that weird sound in the background it sounds like an alien spacecraft i don't know what i'm trying to say but like if you listen to this song you'll know what i mean well well what can i say about that song I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it was interesting production-wise. Just a lot goes on in that last part. I loved the way it ended. That guy is so rock and roll on that line. But there was just so much happening in that last chorus. I could hear like lines overlapping each other lyrics and it was just like this hot mess maybe that's just the way they wanted the song to be i could definitely hear that alien space invasion thingy my bob i wish i had correct terminology of things yes that was an interesting song to say the least i'm not sure if i like it yeah i just need to give that one a more of a listen but we are now going to move on to the next song obviously i'm not going to listen to don't hate me because i already know how much i love the song um, it's been out for like a while now um so i'm gonna move straight on to song number 11 um called tethered i don't know if i'm gonna be able to listen to this song it's gonna be hard for me to listen to it like, production wise and everything like that I'm just going to listen to the song as I normally would and if I need to stop, I'm going to stop 
because reading through the lyrics I know what it's going to be about and it's a hard thing for me to talk about, not talk about necessarily. It's just trauma that even though I'm already upset from reading the lyrics I just know it will make me feel better to be able to relate to something. There's a guitar in there that makes me somewhat happy and there's a string instrument in there. I'm sorry, I know I'm a hot mess myself. I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen to what I can. Oh wow, I, I really just kind of let myself immerse myself in that song instead of just trying to analyse it from a distance, you know? I do like that song because they've, they've got a song like this on their debut album OK I'm Sick called Daddy. These sorts of songs are just like, they hit hard because I've been in somewhat a similar event and sometimes it's hard to listen to those songs. You tell just how out of it I am from having the little sleep I had last night. I'm really not feeling good but I don't have that many songs left. I literally have two songs left but I did like Tethered and it was a good song. It I just don't think, you know, it didn't feel right for me to analyse it on a production level and I just wanted, you know, to actually listen to it on an emotional level. I'm literally just going to skip to the next song number 12 which is called Machine Gun. So we're going straight into this song with the lyrics, with the vocals, quite simple as well. And we've got a nice simple guitar in there, like an electric I think and drum. There's probably bass in there as well but like I feel like a lot of the time the bass just kind of fills in the lower frequencies, just fills in the gaps. I feel like I'm gonna get hate for saying that. I also really like the beat to this, I don't know what it is. I think it's the beat and the mixture, or the rhythm rather, and the mixture of the chord progression and the note slash the notes of this song that makes me like it so much. It's also just like, I think it's quite a catchy beat enough for me to like pick up on it and actually be able to sing it. I don't know what this is, but actually be able to sing it just by listening to it once. Not even once, about halfway. Oh, so this song, yes, I could tell before that, you know, it's about war and like the first kind of war I thought of when I first read the lyrics of this song was World War One. Yeah and now it's going into talking about shell shock which is you know PTSD and now there's an acoustic guitar. Nice touch it is. I love how it ends on just vocals that's quite you know powerful and has more of like an emotional impact than the whole outro having in other instruments. I just think it's quite powerful when all of the instruments end but the lyrics kind of the lyrics kind of carry on for another few lines. I do quite like that. It just kind of fades out after that. You never really make it home. Well, it doesn't even fade out. It literally just ends on home. I did really like Machine Gun. I'm not gonna lie, I do like it. I did really like Machine Gun, it was a good song. I liked the beat and the rhythm of it. And we are now going to move on to the last song, number 13, called My Funeral. Ooh, starting out with a guitar. That is so true. Everyone, everybody wants to be best friends with the recently deceased. Oh, okay, guys, to be honest, I listened to the song then again, I didn't really listen to it. I mean, I just kind of enjoyed the sound of the music. My hair looks crazy. I just look crazy in general. Like, this makeup is slowly coming off. I'm fucking tired. I've just been so anxious lately. Like, if you're like a subscriber to my channel, I'm just struggling. I'm struggling quite a lot at the moment. And I don't, I haven't just had the balls to admit that to myself. I liked my funeral 
there's a nice message a nice message i mean not really it's got a message to it that i quite like i like it for the music and i think sometimes i just put too much pressure on myself with these reactions i think i've rambled on for long enough i'm extremely tired i am so sorry that i have just gotten progressively worse at this but i hope that you somewhat enjoyed this despite my fatigue my annoyingness and weird comments about some of these songs if you did enjoy this please make sure to give it a big thumbs up i'm not usually like this by the way just to clarify in my other videos i'm much more awake i promise but yes if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up also make sure to subscribe down below and ding the bell to be notified every single time i upload to see me less tired than this all of my social media links will also be down in the description I mainly use Instagram, I'm not gonna lie. Just go over and follow me on Instagram if you would like, if you would like to. That's gonna be everything. I did really enjoy this album. I'll probably try and talk about it a bit more in a different video uh, at some point. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video and I'll be a lot less tired than I am now. Bye. My makeup is so patchy. You know what? My brother's right. I do look like I've been punched in the face.